nice. You should open your heart. I wanna see what you so like. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben, your host. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we actually got a number of updates that were released and including those is an update for the Apple Watch. So right here I have my Apple Watch devices and if we go into settings and go to general and go to software update right there you can see it's checking for an update if we go up and then come down again you can see we have watchOS 9.6.2 and for me on my Apple Watch Series 7, you can see the exact update size, 118 megabytes, a relatively small update. And just to show you, this is available for the Apple Watch Series 4 and later. And if you are already on watchOS 10 and you try and go into your system settings and try to update, you won't see this update because you are already a step ahead. You need to downgrade your device in order to see this update. So you can see the update size. However, for we to go into our iPhone and go to the watch application, you can see the download file size. So it jumped to 292.4 megabytes. That's the download file size. And fortunately, there's been other updates as well that better enhance your user experience and overall device security. So if we go to the Apple operating system page, you can see today, September 7, 2023, Apple released iOS 16.6.1 and iPadOS 16.6.1, watchOS 9.6.2. Of course, this is the video for that. And we have macOS 13.5. Most of these updates that you see here, I actually do cover here on the channel at Half Men Half Tech. So if you want to get to know what's new with your devices or within this operating system, definitely do follow and subscribe so that you keep up to date. Right here, my devices have just been updated. We're dancing away to the new update. And if we go into our settings and go to where it says software update, boom, we are up to date. And if we go to the about this watch section, you can see the new build number on hand for version 9.6.2, we have 20U90. So a slight update in the build number. And then when we look at what's been updated or changed within this update itself, so the first and major thing that Apple tells us is that this update brings about stability and bug fixes. So one, that is a very good reason to update. And then two, one thing that Apple told us about this update is that it actually provides important security updates to the wallet app. So if you use the wallet app for identification or if you use the wallet app for just Apple Pay, then this update has an improved updated security measure in the background to help fight some of the malicious code that was being executed. So just to support that, you can see here, if I go on the Apple beta or Apple security release page here, this is a publicly available page. You can Google it and find it. So you can see here when it comes to watchOS 9.6.2 for the series four and later, there's only mention of one security concern that Apple has actually managed to uh, sort. And you can see it has to do with the wallet and it's available for the Series 4. And it says the impact is a malicious crafted attachment may result in arbitrary code execution. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. The description just says a validation issue was addressed with improved logic. So. What it means is that maybe certain attachments or malicious crafted content was being able to access the core data in your wallet. And now this has been patched with watchOS 9.6.2. So if you are a person that heavily relies on their Apple Watch for either certain countries allow you to use it to be able to use your driver's license or your digital ID, I just use it mainly for Apple Pay on the go. So this is an update that I would recommend just for the security patches that are here for the wallet application and overall device improvements. Other than that, the overall device in itself seems to be functioning really good. My watch faces here 
are working as supposed to the new watch faces that have recently came out are working as they're supposed to the only thing that i'm seeing here that's not being updated sometimes is this watch face so i had to delete it and re-add it again but let's see what happens this time so now yeah this image is moving as it's supposed to if i lower my risk and raise it up you can see it's uh now fluid and smooth let me try and change my watch face and go to this one yeah so that's working good if i tap and rotate the globe bit of a delay but it's okay and then the other thing i wanted to test is the battery just to show you how it's performing here so if i go into where it says battery right here and you can see i last charged it a few minutes ago and my battery health for the apple watch series 7 is on 89 percent device is like two years old so i got this apple watch before i got the ultra and i had it on the beta and you can see from the that point up to now it's on 87 percent maximum capacity so quite low but other than that it's a secondary watch and most of the other functions here seem to be working as they're supposed to so this update fixes the same wallet issue when it comes to iphone because there is a latest ios update that was released too for ios 16.6.1 for the iphone 8 and later and an associated ipad update or ipad os update was up was released so if you know ones that might need to be able to update or don't know that how to update then certainly do a system just so that they can have improved updates on rapid security responses so these are security updates that are meant to make your device more stable and just overall device connectivity and functionality to improve it with each update there's people out there that mention or speculation that these updates are actually meant to slow your device down so that when the latest apple watch or your latest iphone comes out with the new ios 17 or watch os 10 comes out they will look faster but in a sense technology has evolved from you know what the battery gate and stuff used to be in the past now we have softwares that allow you to be able to test different cpu gpu functions and even overall device performance so if devices are being slowed down by these updates then technology is a good thing that it allows us to be able to test it as we go and be able to report on such things so that's about it for me if you're waiting for watch os 10 that update at least the release candidate version is expected next week tuesday after the apple event for the iphone 15 and then the final release of watch os 10 and ios 17 and beyond are expected on the week after i'm suspecting maybe september 18 so if they do come out i'll cover them in detail here so do subscribe and hit like so that you don't miss out. Peace. I come to paralyze the leader red Rumors antagonize the dinner dates Some devastation from the paper pain I make the papa leader red I only meditate some killage Vanilla don't spill the conscious Still the kids once was affected I no longer breathe I'm wide awake in the atmosphere Solitary sick and tired of waving Sitting like the Navy We don't like to try to split Conversations flipping on the Peace. page